trust that what belongs to you will come effortlessly into your life. Whether you're on the journey or have reached your destination, appreciate the little things that are already working in your favor. This will keep your magnetic attraction strong and pure. Trust that everything will align for you in due time. The wait and the process will be worth it. <laughs> so if this resonates with you, my friend, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel because it helps the algorithms to reach more people so the message can reach more people. Thank you so much for that. And we can go further. So I said trust that what belongs to you will come effortlessly into your life. And often people say, well, how can I trust that something will find me if it's not here yet? And that's the virtue of faith, right? If we know that we are working on something that is really important to us, and sometimes it's healing, right? Sometimes healing is so important to us that we say, well, I'm only doing the healing because I believe that in the future there's a healed version of myself, which already means that we believe into a potential that we can heal, right? When we put faith that we will live a life of abundance. We only believe into that because we know that in the future there's already a version of us living a life of abundance. You firstly need to see that potential. You firstly need to believe that it's possible for you because only that way you can allow things to find you, right? They will not find you out of nothing, out of nowhere. They will find you as the fruits of your efforts, right? the change of your energy. If you're doing your best, the best will find you, right? So make sure that you're expanding your faith around what's possible for you, that you're upgrading your beliefs about what's possible for you, that you're starting to think about why your life is great and why your life is becoming even greater. Isn't that a shift in perspective? why your life is great and why your life is becoming even greater. Because often people say, this is why my life is not great. This is why my life sucks. This is why I'm such a bad person. And those are all programs from the past. We notice what we've learned in the past so we can use it in the present moment to make our lives better. And we're not making our lives better because they're not good enough already. We just want to make the most beautiful creation out of what we have, right? Because life is nothing but a creation and we are here co-creating in this beautiful existence. So we need to start to see it as a potential to make something beautiful out of it. But it's hard to do that if we are constantly in a lack of something. If you're in a lack of something, you need to find a solution to that, right? And you need to ask yourself, what is causing that? Because we're living in the, th the dimension that works under the law of cause and effect. So we need to ask ourselves, what is causing this effect? And let's upgrade our actions. Let's upgrade our intentions. Let's upgrade our energy. Right? Let's do things more intentionally. And for that, we need to often expand our knowledge and let go of the past and, and forgive to ourselves for being so hard on ourselves. Because in the past, we did something we may regret today, but we did the best we knew, right? If we would knew better, we would do things better. If we would knew how to do things differently, we would do things differently. So therefore, you don't need to be hard on yourself. Just accept that's who you were in the past and your wounds are usually not your fault, right? Your wounds are not your fault, but your healing is your responsibility. So you need to remind yourself of how great you already are through how much you've been through, right? And then you remind yourself of your power. Some time ago I've shared with you, bravery comes from training yourself to do hard things you're afraid of. 
And then there is the virtue of trust. Trust comes as the byproduct of doing what you wish to accomplish without quitting until you see the results. Can you feel that? <laughs> Let me know, can you feel that? Trust comes as the byproduct of doing what you wish to accomplish without quitting until you see the results. So, <laughs> can, can you notice that? When was the last time you've started doing something that was really big for you, really important to you, and nobody believed in your vision? You were kind of left alone. And you say, well, I will trust the process. But a part of you, you know, that inner critic was saying to you, you can't do it. You're not acknowledged enough. You're not smart enough. You're not talented enough. That inner critic was, you know, that annoying voice that, were, that was kind of uh, anchoring you in the fear and frustration. But your heart said, just do it anyway. Because you will eventually develop a a sense of trust, because trust comes as the byproduct of doing what you wish to accomplish without quitting. And we all know that the only failure in life is when we quit. If you don't quit, eventually you will see the results. Maybe not the results you wish to see today, but maybe even better. They will be maybe a bit different than you're expecting them to see, but eventually you will notice that that exact thing needed to happen in order to to bring you to your greatest possible potential. Because we don't know what it is. That's why every single day we're trying, doing different things, trying different methods, jumping from one thing to another, kind of out of curiosity. Because we don't know what's our greatest potential. So we are seeking and trying and noticing until we finally recognize that all it takes is to keep up and keep trying, right? And keep failing sometimes and keep resting and keep rejuvenating and keep reminding ourselves of our inner greatness, saying to ourselves, I am great. Even if I feel a bit of shame right now, if I feel a bit of fear, if I feel a bit of frustration, I'm great. I'm allowing myself to feel it. Isn't that greatness? allowing yourself to feel. Know that everything is happening for you. So all the things that you are currently experiencing are only taking you to the next level. You need to know that whatever you're experiencing right now is only happening to take you to the next level. That's something I've noticed in the past. I was writing down my dreams like where I want to take my, my, my art, how I want to evolve as an artist. And I thought that the only possibility to make a living out of art is that uh, a certain gallery will buy my art, that uh, people will buy my original paintings consistently so I can make a living out of that. But life was leading me to a different direction. I have a love for philosophy. I, I have a love for knowledge. I have a love for, for sharing stories. I have love for all of that. I have love for storytelling. I, I have love for sharing my experiences. So I've noticed that, well, if people just buy my art, I'm not making much impact on this world, right? So we need to ask ourselves, what sparks the greatest possible fulfillment, fulfillment in our hearts? What we need to do that will spark the greatest possible fulfillment in our hearts and that's where we should focus on. That's how you open yourself up for unexpected shifts in your life. And sometimes you may feel unworthy and you need to remind yourself that worthiness comes from knowing that you don't need anything to be enough because you've been born whole and you've been born with a mission, with a purpose, and noticing what brings you a sense of fulfillment, bring you back to your inner wholeness, where you recognize, well, you're not perfect, but you can do things to perfect your personality, so you can express your soul to its greatest possible potential, right? So we can express your light to the fullest, right? You're not perfect, but you can perfect your personality. 
by reminding yourself that you're whole and that you're constantly learning and growing, right? That's the work of the alchemy, right? You're uh, recognizing the inner errors and you're kind of upgrading them, repairing them, accepting yourself. Most of your uh, childhood and your past, something you've been through, conditioning, makes you feel that you're not worthy of what you want, that you shouldn't trust because nothing will work out, that you, that, uh, you have no bravery within you. You may feel like that because people programmed you to believe that stuff. But you know that deep inside there's an inner warrior of light, of love, of creativity, of passion to help this world to, or to help this society to uplift the energy here. Within your heart there's a sense of awareness that is reminding you, hey, raise yourself back up once again. You're like a plant growing through any kind of environment it may find itself in, right? Only to reach the light so it can share its gifts, right? You may be in the city, somewhere filled with the concrete, and just in the middle of that concrete you will see a flower somewhere <laughs> that grows through the concrete, you know, the painting that I've shared with you. That's how nature works. And that's a reminder, doesn't matter where you've been planted, you can grow into your greatest possible potential. Doesn't matter in what kind of family you've been planted. Doesn't matter in what kind of environment you've been planted, you can grow into your greatest possible potential. And when you remind yourself that you are right now growing, you go from victim, you know, from a state of a victim into a state of awareness, of an observer. Okay, I am growing right now, and I may be hurting right now, and I'm in pain, and I don't know what to do, and you accept all of that. That's greatness, isn't that? An ability to accept, okay, yeah, I'm suffering, but okay, it's part of life right? I'm suffering. Yeah, it's part of life. Let's see what can I do. Oh, do I need to rest? Let's take time and rest. Why, it, why is it so hard to take time and rest if you need it? You may say, I don't have time for that. Well, if you don't have time to rest, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, right? I choose to believe in sudden miracles and unexpected blessings because they, because I know they are surrounding me. That's just something I choose to believe. And then miracles are constantly happening to me. Unexpected blessings are finding me. I choose to believe in sudden miracles and unexpected blessings. Embrace yourself instead of judging yourself right? Because if you would compare yourself with yourself from yesterday, you would notice that you've grown. Or maybe you've made a few steps backwards because you needed to recognize something that was undiscovered before, right? We can keep up with all our actions and everything we're doing, but if we are kind of missing out those uh, pieces of hurts from the past, at some point we'll need to stop and make some steps backwards. So if you've recognized, because sometimes people write me, I was on much higher level and then something happened and it feels like I've made a few steps backwards and now I feel completely disconnected. You're not disconnected. You're just tapping into certain wounds from the past that require healing. And for that, you need to feel yourself. Know what you're feeling and ask yourself what the sensations are reminding you of. What can you do with it? What kind of healing is required to learn from those wounds? That is your responsibility. What's the point to be connected with that uh, infinite consciousness if you're constantly in pain and, and kind of avoiding your unpleasant sensations? The point of connection is 
to use it firstly for self-healing so we can heal the world. If you're running away from your pain, you can't expect the unexpected shifts because you're constantly just hiding from yourself. Embrace yourself. Embrace whatever is happening. Know that this is the part of your transformation. Know that wherever you are going, the only possible path to get there is through what you feel right now. Through all the spheres and whatever you feel. Sometimes we lose relationships. Sometimes our dreams may fall apart because there's a greater dream waiting us to find it, to discover it. So rather than holding on to something that has fallen apart, ask yourself what is being born right now. Your subconscious mind will bring you answers through your heart when you let go of the past and open up for unexpected shifts that are taking place right now. There's something truly powerful that uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza once wrote. He wrote that if you can maintain and sustain elevated emotional states independent of the conditions in your external environment, you can access higher intuitive states that can result in a better understanding of ourselves and others, help prevent stressful patterns that occur in our lives, increase mental clarity and promote better discernment. It all begins with the creation of heart coherence through cultivating, practicing and sustaining elevated emotions like gratitude, appreciation, thankfulness, inspiration, freedom, kindness, care, compassion, love and joy for existence. And that's what we're talking about. So if we want to elevate our emotional states, we need to understand that all those different emotions are part of our journey. And don't avoid yourself, embrace yourself. And find practices that can help you to produce that beautiful heart coherence. When you tap into gratitude, like I said at the beginning, what, whether you're on the journey or have reached your destination, appreciate the little things that are already working in your favor. Remind yourself that. Make a habit out of each moment finding little things that are already working in your favor and be grateful for that. Be grateful for that because there's, there's a part of you, some call it higher self, higher consciousness, that it's protecting you, navigating you through this phase, through any phase. And your mind can't understand that part of you because its function and purpose is not to understand it. But to use it for creating your life. So you can't think about your higher self. Be grateful for the little things and you will feel the presence of your higher self. Through gratitude you will feel guidance, appreciation, clarity. And that's what will give birth to kindness towards yourself, to self-compassion, to love and to joy for this beautiful existence. And that's how we will be able to share more of it with the world. And that's why self-healing leads to healing of the world, of this society, of this beautiful planet. So my friends, I will leave you here. I hope you've enjoyed in today's message. I hope you found today's painting inspiring. And let me know in the comment section how this video inspired you. If you would like to get a piece of my art, go and check out our Etsy shop, I Draw My Passion. The link is in the description of this video where you can find prints of my art, some of the original paintings, stickers of my art and some guided meditations. Go there, check it out. My friends, stay beautiful, stay creative, stay magnificent, stay true to your virtues. Until next time, one love.